here's my dropping knowledge. I want people to be aware of a very human tendency that all of us do, which is the fact that our feelings control and run our thinking for the most part, like our belief system. So we're talking about confirmation bias. Like let's take certain um, – you know, certain questions like um, – and I'm reading from, from this great article in New York Times I read, well, an art, uh, a magazine that I have a problem with. But um, like for example, you hear a lot of like political disagreements on things like between liberals and conservatives, things like is human activity responsible for global warming? Do guns make society safer? Is immigration harmful to the economy? You know, you get these questions, right? So – they're complicated questions, but our point of view on those questions as human beings should change according to the evidence. But the fact of the matter is most of us don't even listen or look at the evidence or accept the evidence. We don't change our minds. You're talking about being open minded? I'm talking about being open to, you know, new information. That'd be open minded, right? Yeah. And all but also also sometimes new information is presented to you where they say, you know, it's basically like what they you know what do you know what the expression empirical evidence is? It's a very important concept. Empirical evidence is what you base science on. So measurable evidence. You hear a lot of right? that in uh, courtrooms. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and so you know a medicine works uh, for somebody because there's a there's you can measure that effect. Um or, you know, a bomb works for that matter because you can measure its explosive detonation and all that stuff. So empirical evidence is very important. We should use empirical evidence for a lot of our point of view on things. And, and we should use empirical evidence a lot of times to make a decision based on, you know, where we're going to vote. Changing our mind is fine based on empirical evidence. But the fact is that we all suffer from something called um, confirmation bias. Okay. And that's a psychologically, te- I'm, I'm reading this, but it's a psychological tendency to favor information that confirms your beliefs and disfavor information that counters them. Okay. We're we do it do all that. the time. Yeah, we, we do. And so just this, my, my job in others is bit, just take some inventory about what you believe what you think, and pay attention to how much of it is driven by your actual feelings, your prejudices, your fears. Because the truth of the matter is, as I get older, I start to realize that more and more I don't know as much as I'd like to. I I will tend to also, you know what else we do? We also kind of find ourselves cherry picking information to tell people what it is they actually want to hear. Mm -hmm. Doctors do this a lot. Where they don't really want you to hear something bad. Well, and it's really hard for them. Politicians. They, yeah. Them do, yeah. And we all want to hear. We don't want the fact that it's, there's, there's not real truth there. We do this when we buy houses, when we buy stuff, we spend too much money. It's like I want the facts to run in my favor. So I'm going to believe what, and listen to what I want, not what's all there.